Sounds so. good. It's prime phone banking time too, so unless they went out, I mean Romney ha did yeah. do a surprise event here in Concord. So, oh, Romney's here now? Yeah. The, or he was at the legislative office building about an hour ago. Yeah. So they nice. maybe got, maybe decided to go out and harass that Romney. Sense, yeah. 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 Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> Be here when they get back. Romney, too. Yeah. <laughs> right? Did you read You're that? against Obama. You've got to be against him. <laughs> Did you read that the um, Romney supporters in Portsmouth are all putting chairs out on their lawns for Obama's visit tomorrow? And uh. the chairs. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, should I, I read this thing here maybe now? Yeah. What do you think, Garrett? Will you pick up sound here? Or? Um, yeah, I'm thinking of something good to get it, if we can maybe angle it with the banner. Right, sure. I wonder if, I wonder if we can get the Bradley Manning banner, like, up right below it. I don't know, you want me to bounce myself there and pin it? Careful, Mark. That's pretty good. This one will Yeah, from the other side. Yeah, please don't. I hate it get here they can't avoid them for the next <laughs> <laughs> Bradley Manning, and also criticizing President Obama for uh, what I think is his intellectual dishonesty in the uh, persecution and prosecution of Bradley Manning. My name is Art Brennan. I'm from Ware, New Hampshire. Uh, dear President Obama, I voted for you, President Obama, and I went to your inauguration 
like most U.S. voters, I hope for change and I believe your promises. I thank you for your positive accomplishments toward equality for all of us. But your negative acts, including the NDAA, the extrajudicial killing of American citizens, your attempt to keep U.S. soldiers in Iraq, the kill lists, the drone attacks, and the continuing war in Afghanistan have been bone chilling for Americans who believe in peace and freedom. You can't be blamed for all of our nation's problems or for failing to solve, solve them in four years. Nevertheless, it is a fact that the United States of America is locked in a dangerous stall of violence and economic inequality. And the political system must be changed. But President Obama, you have thrived in this system. And you share a negative trait with other thriving U.S. politicians. You are a master at intellectual dishonesty. Indeed, one of your most breathtaking personal characteristics is the breadth of your intellectual dishonesty. Unfortunately, you have given us many dangerous examples, but I believe the contrast between your lenient treatment of the suspected torturers and liars of the Bush administration versus your petty cruelty to Private Bradley Manning, a young American soldier, is one really dramatic example. In January of 2009, after you promised there would be no prosecution for war crimes by CIA interrogators, who were just following orders, you signaled publicly that you did not intend to enforce the law and that there would be no accountability. You said, I don't believe that anybody is above the law. On the other hand, I also have a belief that we need to look forward as opposed to looking backward. And my orientation is going to be to move forward. And just last week, the final Department of Justice investigation of torture by the Bush administration was dropped without a single person being charged with anything. The Department of Justice has declined prosecution because the admissible evidence would not be sufficient to obtain and sustain a conviction beyond a reasonable doubt. Isn't that a question for a judge and a jury to decide? In marked contrast, your vigorous pursuit of Private Bradley Manning was accused of leaking confidential evidence of U.S. war crimes belies your sincerity about the law and about moving forward. When you were asked about the allegations that Bradley Manning leaked evidence of war crimes, you made no mention of moving forward. Instead, you responded that we're a nation of law. We don't let individuals make decisions about how the laws operate. He, Bradley Manning, broke the law. After many months in the prison at Quantico, public pressure forced you to move Manning to the Army prison at Lebanon and decent living conditions. But at Quantico, Manning spent months in a state of sensory deprivation, without sleep, in virtual solitary confinement, under humiliating conditions, and you knew it. You cast a blind eye on the abuse of a man who has been convicted of nothing. In 2009, you consciously decided not to apply the law to the evidence of crimes by the Bush administration. You gave those miscreants a virtual pardon. President Obama, please look to your conscience, cast aside your intellectual dishonesty, and do the right thing. Pardon Bradley Manning. Sincerely yours, Art Brennan. I have this letter that I am trying to deliver to, to uh, 
the Obama headquarters here in Concord, New Hampshire, but so far we haven't been able to find anyone, even though yesterday I actually called the offices to make sure they'd be here. I'm giving this letter to Crystal Zeebon. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to give us a virtual pardon. Should we try calling the office? Seeing if they can get somebody to open the door? Oh, okay. The Obama staff did not show, so it's kind of a bummer. That's a very good Off somewhere. The Obama staff seems to be in the office. Maybe they're in the top floor. You are young and quick. Yeah, well, we I am old and weak. Or, uh, so, yeah, and it's what's freeconquer.org. <laughs>